So Shelly and I'm Danny Nasca, and we're from Blythe, California. We uh, own a heavy tow company in Blythe, and uh, and we travel back and forth to Idaho. Shelly's parents are in Idaho, and so we have started off our journeys in a trailer, and then uh, we had a couple different trailers, and then we um, had a Renegade, and then we ended up getting a Renegade uh, Classic here about a year ago. And so we, uh, grandkids go to the races, so we uh, we use that to go into the races mostly. We went to Tennessee this year to the races and then up here, and, and it's been absolutely phenomenal. It's uh, probably as nice as being at home, living in this coach. Okay, so we, uh, we come to Idaho for uh, Shelly's parents to live here, so we come stay uh, back where we've been there for a month. And we uh, have a Jeep that we do uh, uh, off-road trails. So when we were here, we did the Magruder Trail. Uh, we've done the, the Lolo Trail. And so uh, there's a, an Idaho uh, off-road, a backwoods type trail. So, and we'll travel around to different locations and then take off uh, from there and do that type of trail riding. So, and Shelly can maybe say what you like about the inside of the coach. Everything. <laughs> yeah, it's like having your own uh, little studio apartment. I mean, it's uh, the two bathrooms, um, the size of the shower. Uh, it's huge compared to what we had before. So, um, yeah, I love everything about it. And the it came with the couch, but we upgraded. We had you guys order the um, recliners for us, and we love those. So, yeah. And we virtually had, uh, in the year, uh, no trouble. A couple little things, but... Uh, yeah. Call here and talk to Jamie, and, uh, and it's just a matter of uh, <laughs> scheduling when we're getting through. Uh, yeah. We can park the coach uh, in one of the spots in the back. We get here the day before. He used to get here in the evening, uh, relax, and then uh, the guys come out in the morning, yeah. get the coach, and uh, do the work on it. Uh, pieces that we needed uh, were ordered. Some of it's been just stuff that we wanted to do after the fact. You know, we wanted to change this or do this, and and they've been absolutely excellent. They uh, uh, treat us great. They've got it's comfortable to sit here or uh, to go in the mountain home and and get something to eat. So the uh, the service and the personnel here is is uh, second to none. So in uh, in the other RV dealers, um, it's they are very interested in selling you something and no interest in service no interest uh they hate to hear the phone ring i think after <laughs> after the sale is done uh, you can call here and, and talk to somebody about a question uh there's so much to systems that you can't remember everything when you get going so you can call and say so how do you do this and uh and they'll get somebody on the phone that walks you through it um the the shop here is, uh, you can eat off the floor. <laughs> and it, it, anytime you walk in here, it's, uh, it's immaculate. The shop, the grounds, the facility, uh, the manufacturing facility, everything here is, uh, is absolutely top notch. You can tell that the, uh, that the owner cares and, uh, and he cares about the people. And a lot of businesses uh, that uh, where we go to are not, uh, the owner really, you can tell that the people are just, it's just a job. Here, uh, it seems to be a lifestyle. Because I'm a, a tow operator. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're a tow operator and you uh, had to deal with class A's, you almost turn them down. They're just miserable. And also, I've got a shop and uh, with a Cummins dealership. And so, uh, working on a class A, uh, you have to get in the bedroom. There's, there's no way around it. You have to get in the bedroom to work on the motor, pretty much. So, uh, in owning trucks all my life, being a truck driver since 16 years old, um, I knew that if I didn't have a, a toy hauler trailer, it would be a Class C. And so we started out with a, uh, with a Verona. Uh, 
uh, taking a step into a classic would have been a big step, not not knowing. So we started out with a Rona, a 40 foot Rona. And uh, uh, at the time we got that coach, there was virtually none available, nothing. And uh, we found it at another dealer. Somebody had ordered it and, uh, and times were tough and they didn't take it. So uh, we just walked into it and then uh, stopped in here and uh, and talked to Sam and uh, and going back and forth. Uh, one of our trips through here, somebody had ordered this classic <laughs> and couldn't take it. So uh, Sam said, oh, I, I don't know. He says, uh, I said, well, let's look at it. And sure enough, uh, uh, we walked out making a deal on the classic and trading the Verona, so. Yeah, the first time we walked in it, I said, we'll take it. <laughs> There's so much room in it. The way that it's configured, it's, it only has three slides, but the way that the, uh, the uh, uh, it actually has bunk beds, and that and Sam said, well, why would you don't need bunk beds, but uh, it's a great, if you don't need the bunk beds, it's a great storage location. So, and then it opens the whole, uh, so we're on our way back to Blythe. So we'll get there uh, tomorrow and then we'll head to Glen Helen to the races on Friday. So uh, we're not even gonna unpack. <laughs> we'll stop and check on the dogs and then uh, then take off again and then come back. And then we'll have a couple races uh, right in our hometown. So even when we race in our hometown, we take the coach up and set it up at the racetrack. And uh, so we've got a place to hang out. We've got a, a spot on a bluff that overlooks the uh, the front end of the racetrack. So we've kind of got our own spot there. So it makes it pretty nice. So uh, the first piece is sales. You know, you uh, probably, if a, somebody's looking for a coach like this, they're, they're probably on the internet looking at a lot of coaches. Uh, when you get here, now my experience has only been with Sam. Uh, it was absolutely, uh, uh, what do you want to look at? What do you want to do? Uh, yeah, there was nothing really about, uh, are you ready to buy? Uh, anyway, in time you go buy something, do you want to buy now? <laughs> are you going to buy in a, uh, what's your time frame? If it's, if it's going to be a while. And I think the first time we came in here, uh, that we actually came in and talked to Sam, we had the Verona. And we just got a couple service things, and, and he he's we just he showed us around, showed us some other coaches, and there was no, uh, uh, are you going to buy something? When are you going to buy something? There was none of that. And then uh, almost had to uh, say, uh, yeah, Sam, we're we're going to we want to look at this this classic. So uh, that piece, from then even to uh, all the way through the paperwork. Uh, if you bought a vehicle, paperwork can be a nightmare. The uh, people here absolutely make you feel comfortable. 